What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about some CP changes you can expect to see with update 34 and the High Isles chapter. I know a lot of you out there on PC have had a couple weeks to hop in and play the High Isles chapter now, but for all of us here on console, we still have a few more days before the update goes live. So I kind of want to make this video letting everyone out there on console know exactly what they can expect when they log in. Once the update is out, oh, everything's downloaded, all that good stuff. Uh, what you really can expect with CP in the game. Now, before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also, check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you really enjoy the channel, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as well. Now, when it comes to the champion points, we have two new uh, champion points being added into the game, and that is going to be in the blue tree, the warfare tree. Uh, Exploiter, and these will both be slaughterable, so keep that in mind. Exploiter, it increases your damage done against off-balance enemies by 2% per stage for a total of 5 stages, up to 10% in value. Each, stay, uh, each stage requires 10 champion points to be invested. Then we have Force of Nature, increases your offensive penetration by 900 for each status effect your, uh, your target has. That will require the full 50 champion points to be put in so it can be activated. Now, when it comes to some of the other uh, CP we have available to us, there are going to be some changes to those as well. Uh, the following champion point nodes, the ones I'm about to discuss, now only grant 3% of their bonus per stage required. Uh, so that's going to require you 25 champion points per stage for up to a total of two stages invested of the previous five stages, which require 10 champion points per stage. Uh, so Biting Aurora, Deadly Aim, Duelist Rebuff, Enduring Resolve, Ironclad, Mastered Arms, and Thermitage. Uh, those in Update 33 would have been 10%. Post Update 34, you're only gonna, that's going to be down to 6%. Backstabber Slottable now only grants 2% critical damage per stage. That is down from 3%. The Cutting Defense node now scales off uh, whatever is higher from your physical or spell resistance rather than your health. Fighting Finesse now grants 4% critical damage and healing per stage rather than 2% critical damage and healing per stage. Uh, Overload now grants 2,560 Oblivion damage per stage rather than the 2,000 Oblivion damage per stage. Uh, Wrathful Strikes and Re uh, Rejuvenator both grant 41 weapon and spell damage to the respective effects per stage up from 33. There are just a few changes. Uh, I think they're trying to you know, balance everything out, you know, not try to nerf too much, but also not try to make anything in the CP trees way too strong. I do find it interesting. We're still, we're getting those two uh, new slottable, uh, slottable, you know, champion points in the blue tree, that Explorer and Force of Nature. I think both of those will be very popular, especially for, uh, Force of Nature. If you're trying to get a little bit more offensive penetration, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the CP changes coming with update 34 in the High Isles chapter. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.